Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining us today, where we're going to speak about the most powerful TOR missile system. The TOR missile system is an all-weather, low to medium altitude, short-range surface-to-air missile system that's designed for destroying airplanes, helicopters, cruise missiles, precision-guided munitions, unmanned aerial vehicles, and short-range ballistic threats. It would be originally developed by the Soviet Union under the Growl designation of 9K-330 TOR. A navalized variant would be developed under the name 3K-95 Kinzel. TOR would also be the first air defense system in the world that was designed from start to shoot down precision guided weapons like the AGM-86 ALCM day and night in bad weather and jamming situations. The TOR can also detect targets while on the move, and the vehicle must stop intermittently while firing though trials are currently being conducted to eliminate this restriction. The development of the TOR missile system began on February the 4th of 1975 in response to the directives of the Central Committee of the CPSU. Initiated as a successor to the 9K-33 OSA, development on the land-based version would be conducted in parallel with a navalized variant of the system to be installed on a number of upcoming ship classes, which included the Kirov-class battlecruiser and retrofitted onto older ships as well. Responsibility for its development would be given to the Anti-Design Bureau, with the missiles being designed by MKB Fakal, and the Altar Design Bureau would be responsible for the development of the Kinzel. The closest foreign equivalent to the TOR in function and operation would be systems like the British Rapier Missile and the French Crotal Missile Systems, which some consider to have somewhat less performance than the TOR. All three systems are mobile and self-propelled, with the TOR using the 9A330 combat vehicle, carrying a crew of four and acting as an autonomous transporter, launcher, and radar unit, or TLAR. The 9A330 would be based on the GM355 chassis manufactured by MMZ, and the Tor M1 using the improved GM5955. Like Rapier and Crotal, in addition to the tracked vehicle, there are also static and towed versions of the Tor, as well as a wheeled one. Mobility time is three minutes, and it can also be transported by any transport means. The reaction time of the original is seven to eight seconds. When it comes to the features of the TLAR, it's arranged in a similar fashion to its previous 9K-33 OSA and 9K-22 Tunguska air defense system. The TOR's TLAR features a turret with a top-mounted target acquisition radar and frontal tracking radar with eight ready-to-fire missiles stored vertically between the two radars. The target acquisition radar is an F-band pulse Doppler 3D radar that's equipped with a truncated parabolic antenna and a mechanically, later electronically scanned in azimuth with a 32 degree sector view, having an average power output of 1.5 kilowatts, which provides a maximum detection range of 25 kilometers. For reference, a McDonnell Douglas F-15 at an altitude of six kilometers has a detection probability of 0.8 at this range. The electronic heart of the system is a digital fire control system, which allows for the detection of up to 48 targets and the tracking of 10 at any one time, integrating IFF functionality, with the IFF antenna being mounted above the search radar. And speaking of the radar, the target engagement radar is a G-band, H-band pulse Doppler with a passive electronically scanned array antenna. The radar is classed as a thinned array incorporating only 570 phase shifters and uses linear polarization. The radar has an average power output of 0.6 kilowatts, providing a maximum detection range of 20 kilometers. An F-15 type aircraft had a detection probability of 0.8 at this range. 
Originally, Tor could only engage one target at a time, and with only two of its missiles. Later variants of the Tor system incorporate additional fire control channels, as well as improved fire control computers, allowing the system to engage two and then four targets, while simultaneously guiding up to four and then eight missiles. There's also a small antenna on the top of the target engagement radar to communicate with missiles after launch. To reduce the dimensions of the vehicle, the target acquisition radar can be folded down horizontally when traveling, and the tracking radar can partially rotate away from vertical. To allow engagements in the ECM heavy environment, that is the modern battlefield, the 9K332 is equipped with an optical tracking system complementing the main radar. The rockets were developed for the interception of small, aggressively maneuvering targets. Weighing in at 167 kilograms, the 9M330 missile is 3 meters long, carrying a 15 kilogram warhead and having a peak speed of around Mach 2.8. Using command guidance and radar-controlled proximity fuses, the missiles can maneuver at up to 30 Gs and engage targets flying at up to Mach 2. Cold launched, the missiles are propelled out of the vehicle before the solid fuel rocket motor fires and the gas dynamic maneuvering system turns them toward their target. Missiles can also be fired against surface targets, with each missile being sealed and stored in two groups of four. Engagement range is up to 12 kilometers, with minimum range varying between 1,500 and 2,000 meters, depending upon its version and the effective altitude of 6 to 10,000 meters. A new 9M338 missile has been developed by Almaz Anti, offering improved range and precision, and its smaller size also enables the modified Tor M2 to be equipped with 16 missiles as opposed to its original eight. When it comes to combat history, the TOR missile system would be used in the shooting down of Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 and in the gorno karabakh War of 2020. Operators of the TOR system include Algeria, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Belarus, China, Cyprus, Egypt, Greece, Iran, Peru, Russia, the Ukraine, Venezuela, Yemen, Morocco, and Syria. What do you think about the TOR missile system and its impressive capabilities? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure you're subscribed with your notification bell turned on and like this video for others to see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.